Good morning. So this is a follow-up from yesterday's report with the uh, West Virginia uh, people, the good people of West Virginia, impeaching the entire Supreme Court appellate division in their state, the, the Court of Appeals. They threw them all out. They impeached four of them, and the other remaining three that were being they were facing federal charges on um, all kinds of stuff, they ran for the door. So they cleared out the bench, right? So that's a good thing, right? There was corruption. They were misappropriating funds. They were taking money from, from uh, the, you know, use it, using uh, taxpayer money to, furnish, to, to, to enrich themselves, furnish their own rooms, pay for their cars, their gas, right? They were paying subordinate uh, judges to, you know, for their decisions, right? It's a good thing, right? So how did the mainstream media spin it, right? The wholly owned mainstream media. Let's not get blood. We don't get our blood boiled anymore over the mainstream media, what is now a corporately owned media propaganda wing of the United States government. Let's call it what it is, right? So the, the Washington Post is probably the number one example of that, right? The, 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 the essence of corrupt media. Why? Because... The Washington Post was, I think, in the, I believe they're the ones who broke the Watergate uh, scandal in the 60s. At one time, they were a reputable, when they started, they were a reputable organization, right? But now they're wholly owned by who? Jeff Bezos, right? Who takes 600, you know, $600 uh, million dollars from, from the CIA, right? These, these, are, these are very, very very corrupt organizations. One of the, the lead editors at the Washington Post is John Podesta, right? After almost facing, he should be facing treason charges. What do they do? The Washington Post hires him. He's, a, he's now an operative, right? So Washington Post, operative organization, propaganda wing of the, of the oligarchy, right? So what did they say about this thing, right? I'm sure they would, they would, they, they gotta say, they say this corruption, and they, they want to get rid of it, right? Of course. The question at heart of the West Virginia lawmakers, the, the headline is, um, <clears throat> West, Virginia's, West Virginia's efforts to impeach the state Supreme Court are just the latest, latest in a worrisome trend. Worrisome. That they're cleaning up the, the judicial. It's worrisome. Right? More than a dozen states this year have considered 50 measures to curb state courts' powers. My cat is going to scream the whole the whole time. Ah, she's screaming. She doesn't. She's she's not happy. The question of the the question at the heart of West Virginia lawmakers' unprecedented move to impeach all the state's top justices is intent. <laughs> the, is it intent? Right. Did lawmakers in the state house vote Monday to impeach the entire court because the justices were missing? misusing state funds to a degree that merits impeachment? Or are West Virginia Republican lawmakers trying to get rid of the justices on trumped-up charges so that the state's GOP governor can appoint new ones, right? So that's the Washington Post speaking to the ignorant masses, trying to confuse the issue. First of all, Jimmy Justice, I believe his name is, is the governor of West Virginia. He ran as a Democrat. He was elected as a Democrat. And when, when he, and then shortly after, he converted, when, when the Democrats were in a spiral, a downward spiral, he became a Republican and supported the president. <laughs> so it's not part, they try, so the Washington Post, again, is, 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 it's an operative of the CIA, and they've historically used the Democratic Party and pitted it against the Republican Party, right? It's just bullshit. It's one fucking party. Jimmy Justice, by the way, the governor of, 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 I'm not defending that guy. That guy's a billionaire. He owns 50 companies. He's a, he's a, he's the, one of the only billionaires in West Virginia, right? And he's the governor. The guy's a, whatever. But, so, intent, listen to the Washington Post. Intent in politics, as in life, is hard to decipher. No, it's not. It's not. It's, it's just rather easy. But what is not in question, but what is not in question among judicial independent independence experts is West Virginia's headline headlines a potentially troublesome trend among state legislators this year of politicians moving to exert control over a separate branch of government. 
Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Okay. Whoever got rid of the West Virginia, this is what I said yesterday. Okay, great. You got rid of the, 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 uh, the, these, these crooked judges, right? You got rid of them. And now what do you replace them with? The governor gets to pick the appellate division, right? He, 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 they pick, the governor of a state picks, appoints the new judges. Lawmakers in 16 states have considered more than 50 different bills to minimize the role of state courts or make it harder for judges to do their jobs. Absolutely. According to an analyst, that's what the problem is. That's what the problem is. They, the judges take the money, right, and, and, and they, their, hands are, their hands are so tied, but they take the money and they don't give a shit. Right? That's what's going on. Lawmakers in 16 states have considered more than 50 bills to minimize the role of state, state courts or make it harder for judges to do their job, according to an analyst by a nonpartisan... There is no such thing with the Washington Post. There is no nonpartisan. I'm not even going to say their name. Which describes this as an assault on the judicial branch. In the Trump era... See, now they, now they blame Trump. In the Trump era, courts frequently appear to be the, the last line of defense against partisan overreach. But in many states, courts' vital role in our democracy is under threat. The fucking Washington Post saying such a thing. It's, 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 it's unfucking believable To some degree, tension between state courts and state government is normal. But what is going on now is not, is not, is not some other jerk-off, some other, some other paid, paid research organization that they name. The center's research found that in the, in the past 25 years, just two state judges have been impeached. Compared, compared with 2018, where on one day in one year, lawmakers impeached four justices. That was just in one state. All right, so you can read the article for yourself. I'll drop it down below. So it's, um, it, it's, it's, uh, th there is no precedence for what happened in West Virginia where, where a, uh, the, the entire judicial was kicked off the bench, right? Now... But you see that what I'm trying to say is that you see the spin operative. It's not to say that who's be who, the biggest. The biggest takeaway here is what is the problem? It's it's the again the money in politics, right? It's it's one side and the other side. It's two sides of the same coin. The power the power structure. The, what we call Democrats, Republicans. They're all the the whole. The whole system is is these two very very deeply corrupt organizations that are are in a power struggle among themselves. Who's going to get more of the money, right? It's not about who who's going to represent the people. It's about who's going to get more of the lion's share of the bribery of the of the of the of the sugar the sugar the candy the money the money that flows down from the oligarchy. That's what the fight is all about. Now, is the Washington Post safe to say that? is accurate in saying that be careful what you wish for because now a a, a republican republicanly controlled house in the in in West Virginia is now going to port all another group of shills yes exactly that's what i've been trying to say the whole time is that this is what happens when you think draining the swamp is draining the swamp it's not draining the swamp it's draining the swamp and replacing with, with replacing it with other ugly, disastrous, nasty monsters, swamp monsters, right? That just do the same thing. They just grab the money and do the same thing. Until you fix the problem of who is paying them off, none of the none of this stuff goes away. The media is you see the Washington Post now plugging it and, and it's just a it's just a and it's just a, a, a bullhorn for the CIA, the FBI, the deep state that keep that is the is the is they're the they're the muscle. They're the police for the oligarchy. Right. They keep everything in place. It's really, really corrupt. Right. So so what was what was a, what appears to be sometimes a good thing, like in West Virginia, where they got rid of the whole bench, could actually be a disaster in disguise. It, it's almost always a disaster in disguise disguise right because you're going to un, undoubtedly this guy justice the governor of west virginia is going to pick trump cronies who believe in crony capitalism who believe in trickle-down economics who are going to give 
corporations carte blanche to continue to rape the country. Don't they don't pay a nickel in tax? This guy is totally, totally behind all of that. So again, the people lose. People lose again. Right? That's where we are. And uh, did you buy any stick by when you while well, since you're here? While you're here. While you're here, hold on a second. Wait, whoa, don't go anywhere. While you're here. On eBay, I have 12 of these for $5. 12 of these are the campaign stickers. You peel them off and you put them over here. You could wear one. You could, you could, you could put it up and show, show your support of online media. Marcus Conti. Peace out. Peace, 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 peace.